This is a team effort. In the fleeting cessation of hostilities, Palestinians in Gaza are gathering wood wherever they can, to use as firewood for cooking and to keep warm as the temperatures drop. People want to survive. We're living in a war and there's no place we can escape to. Where do you think people can run away to? How do you think they can survive? How are they going to cook? What are they going to drink? Even this food needs three days to get dry and usable. Giving up is not an option in Gaza. Palestinians have been forced to resort to living without the basic necessities, such as electricity. So they're reviving old traditions to cook what little food they have. Once again, starting from nothing. These oven clays we used to make back in the day about 30 years ago. We make it out of clay because due to the war there's no electricity and no cooking gas. So these ovens help people to cook and bake. Bakeries are closed too. Resilience and hope. Palestinians in Gaza are experiencing a brief period of calm, aware that at any given moment Israel's war on Gaza could resume, trying to piece their lives together in houses that have fallen apart. This is not the first time, nor the last time it is destroyed. It was demolished in 2008 war, it was demolished in 2014 and now in 2023. And it will likely be demolished again, but we will rebuild it again. As the ceasefire holds, Palestinians are trying to create some sort of normalcy, surrounded by absolute destruction. Their days of solace are numbered, and even these moments could be stolen from them. Julie Dager, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.